this might be a sensitive topic for some, so please listen with an open heart. You know when you hear the phrases, you should be so grateful that you woke up this morning, that you have another day to live. Don't you know how lucky you are? The statistics that it took to get you here and that you were born on earth, that your egg was chosen through all of the eggs and the sperm, and you got to be here, you have this life. Well, not everybody always feels that way. Sometimes life can get so hard. It can get so painful. Our souls are just filled with such anguish. We feel lonely. We feel empty. I've definitely been through times where I just feel inconsolable. I am in so much pain. But it's in those times that I remember these are emotions and they always pass. I didn't always feel like this and I won't always feel like this. When I work with people who are in a really dark place, really depressed, and even having suicidal ideation, I try to use this analogy. I ask them, where is this pain? It's psychic. It's spiritual. It's psychological. The source is not the physical body, although our physical body can actually hurt because of this psychological pain. But I ask them, how would this remedy, by you getting rid of this vessel, letting it go, do you think it would solve those emotional, spiritual, energetic problems? Because for all we know, we take it with us. Nobody knows what happens. But what we do know is the source of this pain. It's the unseen. It's our mind. It's the energy of us that's suffering. It's our thoughts. It's our experience. It's our perception of the situation that we're in in life. So we think, obviously, getting rid of this would just get rid of all of the pain. I have definitely been through times of my life where I've been in deep emotional pain, just that dark time. And when I see phrases, I'm so grateful that I woke up another day, I sometimes think, Ugh, am I? And for some people that can sound like blasphemous, like, oh my gosh, you should be so grateful that you're here. But not everybody thinks that way. People who are suicidal think the absolute opposite. They don't want to be here. Waking up every day is like a stab in the heart. And that is why they want to just do whatever they can to eliminate the pain and often think by killing off this physical vessel, it will eliminate that pain. So if you ever hear phrases like, you're so lucky to be alive, you're blessed with one more day, and you don't feel like that, you're not alone. The important thing to remember is that emotions are passing. We didn't always feel like this, and we won't always feel like this. Reach out for help if you need it. Talk to somebody that you trust. Do not think that you have to hold it all in. I think a lot of people would be surprised if they truly knew how many people suffer in silence. Something helpful that I do is I remember the bigger vision. Even in my darkest times, what do I want for my life? I know that it can get better. Right now, it doesn't seem like it's going to. An analogy I use, I remember when I was in junior college and I had to walk up this big hill every single day. I'm like, I would rather eat glass than walk up this hill one more day. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to quit. I was just so tired. I was so exhausted. But I knew where I was working toward, where I was getting to. I knew that it would get better. It seemed like it would last forever. But I just kept that thought, it will get better. If I'm surviving this, I can make it one more day. So again, if these really positive phrases like be so happy that you woke up today trigger you or bother you and you actually think the opposite, you think, I wish I didn't wake up today. I wish that I didn't have to be here anymore. Don't feel guilty about it. There is nothing more human than having the feeling of just wanting it all to go away, just not wanting to be here anymore. But just don't give up. Just tell yourself, not today. I can get through today. I can get through tomorrow. Reach out for help. Text or call 988. There are so many free resources. If you want to know any, please just message me and I'll give you plenty. You can visit the website at talktherapycenter.net. There's a whole tab for resources if you ever need any. Thank you for letting me share that. That was just something that I, I have struggled with in the past. I personally have never been suicidal or have thought about doing that, but I know a lot of people who have. But I've definitely felt a little existential rage when I hear those phrases. Be so grateful that you woke up this morning. There's some days when I'm like, I don't know about that. And that's okay, but never give up. There is always hope. And again, reach out if you need any help.